This is a simple tutorial on how to use the CNC at a the woodshop lab. This is going to be how to create a nameplate with this carbide software. Now to start, you're going to want to open up Carbide Create. Carbide Create is one of the two apps used to create your engraving. Once in Carbide Create, select the gear button. You will see multiple settings. The first setting is stock size. Here you can set the parameters of your workpiece, uh, otherwise known as the dimensions of your workpiece. The piece of wood that I'm using is 11 by 7 inches. Next, set the thickness of your piece of wood. In this case, it is three quarters of an inch or 0.75 inches. Next, set the tool path zero to lower left. If it is anything else besides lower left, select lower left. Set the material to soft wood if you're using soft wood. Leave the machine settings the same as you found them. Leave all other parameters the same. Next select OK once all your parameters are set. Once this updated and is completed, you'll see the full size of the build plate. Next selects the text button. It has a T Next, so you want to select that button. Next, a text will appear on your carving surface. Enter in your desired text in the text box, and then you can change whatever text you would like to be displayed in your engraving. In this case, I'm going to type woodshop. Then you can select your font size. There's multiple font sizes. Just choose the one that you like best for your engraving. Thicker font sizes tend to engrave better. Now select the size of your text. You want to ensure that these parameters are smaller than your build or carving surface parameters. Once you've set one parameter, it'll automatically adjust the other parameter to be scaled. Now drag and center your workpiece. You can also use the X and Y coordinates from the lower left as the origin. Put in the X and Y coordinates to align your text box. Now click away from the menu. Anywhere on the build plate works. Then select toolpath in the menu. Only select toolpath when your design is how you want it to be. Next, select all of your words or click on your words. Select the option of V-Carve. Then select Edit. Ensure that the tool bit is the half inch V bit. If any other bit is installed in the CNC, check with your instructor to make sure that you have the correct bit. As you can see, that, that is the half inch V bit. Next, input your depth per pass. And to change these settings, you have to unselect set speeds automatically.
then type in your depth per pass and step over depth. Do not change your speed and feeds rates. Once it is, this is completed, select OK. And select OK again. If you desire, you can name your toolpath. In this case, I just leave it as toolpath 1. As you can see, there, the toolpath is displayed over your letters. If your toolpath is not as desired, use two fingers on the touchpad and delete that toolpath. From there, you can start another toolpath. V-carve is preferred. Once your toolpath is selected, select Pine in tool, under Toolpath Simulation and Show Simulation. Here you can see the simulation and how it is engraved into the wood. You can see the dimensions of the wood and the text so it is clear the scale of the text on your piece of wood. Give your file a name, ensure that you can remember that name, and make sure that it's related to your engraving. Save it, and make sure it is in a folder that you remember and is designated for the CNC. In this case, I'm saving it to the folder CNC images. So, you want to remember the name of your saved folder so you can access your file later. Minimize your screen and open up Carbide Motion. This Carbide Motion is used to connect the CNC to the computer so you can start engraving. If this screen is not available, is not on and the CNC is not connected to your computer. If you do see this screen, select the green hexagon. Click on the green hexagon. Select the job button and click to begin homing. Once I click the button, it should start homing. If it does not start homing, then you need to turn off the CNC and turn it back on. This will reset the CNC so you get an error message. Then select the error message after you've already turned on the CNC and it will reboot the CNC. So now you can select the green hexagon one more time and it should work. Select Jog and click to begin homing. As you can see, the machine has begun homing. It should home in the top right corner. If it is not homed in your top right corner, ask your instructor for help. Clear any wires out of the way of the tool. Next, go to Info and then upload your design from Carbide Create. Then select the folder which you, in which you saved your file to. In this case, it is CNC Images. Open the folder and select your file. Select your file name. Select Open, and then as you can see, this URL will display part of your file name in the URL. Here you can see woodshop underscore CNC, my file name. Next, click jog. Once at the jog setting, go to your workpiece. And now that we've set the starting point to the bottom left corner, in as one of our first settings, we need to set the bit machine bit homed at that lower left corner. Move it by using these 
arrow keys. Select fast move increment and use the arrow keys to move the bit tip to the lower left corner. If I select X minus button, the CNC will move like this. If I select minus Y, the CNC will move towards you. To move up and down, use the Z plus and minus buttons. These arrow keys control all three axes of the CNC. To speed up the process, select rapid position. This is if your workpiece is in a certain corner of, of the cutting surface. As you can see, once I select that button, it'll move quickly to that bottom center. Make sure there are no power cords in the way. Now it is at the bottom center. From there, you want to select done and move increment move this and then move the cnc head to the lower left corner use the arrow keys once again to move the bit tip to the lower left corner of your workpiece lower it down using the z arrows until it is just above the lower left corner as you near the lower left corner of your workpiece, change the move increment. This will prevent your bit tip from digging into your workpiece too quickly. As you can see, very fine movements are required as you near the lower left corner of your carving surface. It does not have to be perfect, but just make sure that it's above the bottom left corner with a very small increment above that bottom left corner. About a credit card spacing is fine. So about one to two or about one millimeter. It is important that you click set zero. Click the button set zero. This will bring you to set work coordinates. Select zero all. This is a very important step. Select zero all. So now when your tool bit is above the lower left corner, your tool is zeroed. Select done. And then you can select run. Do not click the play button yet. You want to double check that your bit tip is above the lower left corner of your work. Turn on the router. Once the router is turned on, safety glasses, and make sure that the router is turned on and all of the following previous steps have been followed. Next, start the project. As you can see, the project raised up from the build surface. Make sure your router is turned on, the bit insert is inserted, and all of the previous steps have been followed. Now the bit is spinning, and then you select the continue button. Once you click continue, your CNC cut will begin. If anything goes wrong, s switch off this black switch. This will immediately stop the CNC. As you can see, if everything is done correctly, it should go to the middle of the workpiece and start carving. If anything goes wrong, just remember, click that black switch to the off position and that will immediately stop the CNC router. Again, if anything goes wrong, hit the black switch and everything will stop. Once that black switch is hit, 
you want to turn off the DeWalt router itself. Only do that if something goes wrong with the CNC router. On your computer screen, you should see the percentage of the carve. You can pause your project at any time or cancel. If everything is going smoothly, just observe your carving.